Hey farmers, what's going on? Today's machine is going to be the brand new yogurt maker. First, I'm just gonna do a little gameplay and if you're only interested in checking out the new machine, you can skip to that part. The timestamps will be in the description. So let's get started. Just gonna harvest my crops over here. I got some rice and sugar cans, but okay. Yeah, so I have a lot of sunflowers, which I don't know why. Checking the boat over here, I need some lettuce, so I'm going to do this. And then I can do kimchi. I'm going to do two crates, and we can ask for help on the four crates. And I will be putting an advertisement with the help of Rustic Bouquet, or I could also use the um, Toffee Dog, just to see if there's something that I need to purchase. There's just a bunch of random items, blankets, strawberries, and stuff. We can make more dairy. I have a lot of cheese. Whoops, I don't have a lot of goat cheese. I'm gonna put a lot of goat cheese over here. Yep, there we go. And I'm gonna collect my honeycombs now. Okay, and we can also do our peanuts quickly. That's nice. Just gonna wait on my boat. There's a bunch of tools to collect so we're gonna collect them let's collect some bars for my smelters over here anything extra to make okay now I think my gameplay is done so a little description about the yogurt maker yogurt maker was added into the game in the recent summer or Hades 10th birthday special update which we just had a couple of days ago I think last Monday and what we got in this update was mango tree and of course this new machine so i'm just going to show you guys this machine over here currently it's the highest level machine in the game unlocking at level 103 it's going to cost you 1.1 million coin day so i'm just going to unwrap it right now i'm very very excited this is what i love to do in the game so on three two one here we go Yay, the new yogurt maker. Oh my gosh, I got 44 XP for this. Wow, absolutely stunning. Love design, love the animation of this machine. Perfect. Has to be one of my most favorite machines in the game, just because of the design. It's so pretty, and it's a huge machine, you guys. Looks very different from other machines. I absolutely love this. So, you can also change the direction, flip it in whatever direction you like it better. I think it looks better in all the directions. So, what we have in the machine is basically a wooden container, which is filled up with milk, apparently. And then there's a mixer at the top. We have some barrels filled with berries. We have some glasses. And then there's a milk bottle at the side, which does make sense because we're using milk and fruits to make delicious yogurt. And I mean, I love yogurt in real life, so... This is just going to make me hungry. I'm telling you guys. Okay, so that's about the design. And the XP it gave me was 44. Now, let's have a look at the mastery. So 140 hours. And I think it's very similar to the actual FUD shop. Which is 140 for the first star. 410 for the second. And 1630 for the final star. So that's going to be a lot of hours. But I don't think it's going to be really that hard to fully master. Now, the first thing that I do after unlocking the machine is, of course, opening the slots, which is very important, especially for me because I'm a high-level player and I always need tons of products, and it also helps me to fully master my machine quickly. So I'm just going to spend a bunch of diamonds. Now, yeah, it does need a lot of diamonds, and this is the most effective way you can spend your diamonds in the game. So we're going to spend 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 18... 21 and 24. Okay, that was a lot of diamonds. I think that was almost, I don't know, 80 diamonds or something? I don't really care. So, let's talk about the products. We have currently three products on this machine. There's the first one, which is the plain yogurt, unlocking at level 103. So, this needs two cream and three milk. Very challenging, if I say so. This is like one of the products in the game that asks for a lot of dairy items, just like the fudge. So, this is getting crazy. I don't know what's up with 2022. Why is it adding so many machines that need a lot of dairy products? In the spring, we had the fudge shop needing two butter, and even three butter. Yeah, rich fudge needs three butter. And now we're having this machine, the yogurt maker, which needs cream and milk. I mean, seriously, guys, that's really tough, because milk is rare in the game. So, my tip to you guys would be hire Rose if you can. She is extremely helpful. 
She will keep collecting your milk. And that's why I've been hiring Rose for so many months now. And she's just the best way I can spend my diamonds. And yeah, I do spend diamonds on Rose. If you have boosters, you can also use those. Just depends on your playing style. So I'm going to put one plain yogurt. I love the animation of the product as well. Seems delicious. And this is how your machine looks when it's working. All right. So something is being mixed inside. Nice. Brilliant. And the yogurt is actually coming out of the tap from the barrel. So, now I'm going to spend 5 diamonds and see how much XP it gives me. So, one plain yogurt gives you 28 XP, which is kind of fine. Not a lot of XP. So, the first thing you have to remember is that the plain yogurt is going to be a raw material. Because you're going to use the plain yogurt to make other yogurts in the game. Like the strawberry yogurt and the tropical yogurt. They do need the plain yogurt. So, first you have to make a lot of plain yogurts. And that's why I'm saying it's really challenging. You're already... Using like a lot of milk, cream, using the yogurt. So yeah, I'm just gonna put two more. So I'm gonna spend five diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds, you guys. A lot of diamonds. Okay, 15 diamonds. Strawberry yogurt, it needs one plain yogurt and one strawberry jam. Is it hard to make? I guess it is. I mean, all the products are rare, but if you have a lot of strawberry jam and if you have made a lot of plain yogurts, then I think it's not that hard to make. So it's just going to take 40 minutes, or I can spend 3 diamonds to speed up its production. Again, a delicious animation. Strawberry is my most favorite fruit. I love all the strawberry flavors. So this is, uh, scrumptious. Okay, we're going to spend 3 diamonds, and wow, you 63 XP. Now that's the XP that I want in the game, so that's a great amount of XP. I think it makes sense because you're using strawberry jam, you know, but you're making your jam maker. So where's my jam maker? Let me just show you guys my jam maker. It's over here. Um, yeah, you're already using like seven, I mean, six hours and 22 minutes on the strawberry jam in the jam maker. So yeah, this does make sense. The next is the tropical yogurt. Again, very delicious. Lots of yummy, yummy fruits. We need one plain yogurt, four raspberries. That's a lot of raspberries right there. Two mangoes and one passion fruit. It's going to take one R and I'm going to spend four diamonds right there. So one tropical yogurt, 54 XP. Okay. So XP wise, strawberry yogurt is the best product. Secondly, we have the tropical yogurt, and then we have the plain yogurt. So now I'm just going to put a bunch of plain yogurts, and now you're going to see my creamy milk going away into another dimension. I don't know, into the black hole maybe? Where does all the dairy go? You don't even know. You have like a thousand dairy, the next morning you're going to wake up, you're going to have like a hundred. That's what goes on in Haiti these days. I'm really fed up with the dairy. I need a second dairy in the game right now, and I'm serious. If it doesn't happen... I'm gonna do something bad. Now we know all about the product, so I'm just gonna come to the shop and I'm going to be doing a bit of statics of all these products. We're gonna see which one of these is the most expensive one, so I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna see are they worth selling or not, what you can do with them. So here I am, the first one, the plain yogurt. And by the way, if you want to know the levels, you can check out my previous videos. I've explained everything there. So one plain yogurt for 234 coins is definitely not worth selling. It's not even that expensive. Not sell this. It, it's rare. You have to use it to make other yogurts. Plus, it's not giving you a lot of coins as well. So definitely not worth selling in my dictionary. The second is strawberry yogurt, which I know is going to be really expensive. 5,000 coins. Now, that's a great amount of coins if you are trying to make money. You have a lot of them, you can sell them, but then again, it's really hard to make. You're not going to find it anywhere. So maybe you have to save it for your boat or town. The next is the tropical yogurt, which is also really expensive. One for 457 coins, 10 will be for over 4,000 coins. Again, I do not recommend selling this, but if you want, you can. However, I really don't recommend it. I would say the better save that for your truck and your town. So, that's all about this brand new machine, the Yogurt Maker, added into the game in the Summer 2022 update, and it's beautiful. I honestly love all the products, you guys. Yogurt is so delicious, and the strawberry yogurt looks beautiful. So, yeah, that's all about this machine. It makes uh, three products, and it's a high-level machine, level 103. It's, it costs a lot of money, and now it's working, so I'm going to put it close to my other machines. And I think size-wise, this is a large machine, or maybe it's a medium machine. Yeah, I think it's a medium machine. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little guide of the yogurt me. And if you have any more questions or confusions related to this machine, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Haiti videos coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Bye.